Hi guys, today I'm doing a video on my Resident Evil PlayStation 1 collection. I'm starting off with this Resident Evil Black Label Edition. This is just the standard UK edition that you get anywhere. It's uh, fully complete with all the manual and everything like that. Uh, next, I have Resident Evil 1 Black, a uh, White Label Edition. So this is slightly different because it's got different art on the front and back. It's, it's different from the original because the original has the silver zombie and then the picture is a full at the front but the manual itself is exactly the same so is the picture on the disc and um, this one this copy has the original postcard with it as well that's so fully complete i think um, I d this is another white label edition the only difference being is it's just the value series bar band on it and yeah, it's exactly the same as the one I've just shown. It has everything the same inside, same manual, and the same postcard disc. But I thought I'd add it to my collection just because it, it looks slightly different because of the yellow part. But it's no difference in terms of the game or what's inside. This is the Platinum Edition. And as, 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 as you know, all Platinums have no picture on the disc. Uh, the, ma the postcard is a bit di bigger, so it's slightly different. And the manual is a lot different because it has the silver at the back and a nice picture at the back as well, which the original doesn't have. Uh, this is the American, American Big Box version. It's quite a cool one. It doesn't yet have a disc in it, it's just the box and the manual. But I really like this box. It's, it's made of cardboard rather than plastic, and it's got really cool artwork inside. But that's the um, the manual. It's quite a big one. It's quite a cool one. And yeah, I really like the artwork that's inside. It's a lot different from all the other ones. I don't. Know, I haven't actually seen this artwork on any other pi any other game. A Resident Evil One case. So it's quite cool and unique. I mean, it'll really, really be a cool piece once I get round to buying the disc and once it's fully complete, it'll be really cool and probably one of my, my favourite pieces in my collection so far. This is the uh, director's cut. This is uh, the French version. So it's a little bit different. And yeah, it's fully complete and it comes with the uh, Resident Evil 2 demo. It's really quite a cool and unique piece because uh, cause I'm in the UK, it's, it's a bit harder to get. It's so quite a cool piece. Uh, that's, uh, I've got my English version though, this is the um, disc only, I ha only have the disc at the moment for the English, so I'll put it in a nice frame that I'm going to stick on the wall once I get the time, so yeah, I've only got the, I've got no box or manual or nothing for the English version of director's cut, it's just this, just a disc. And um, that's all my Resident Evil 1, uh, this is Resident Evil 2, just standard black label. It's nothing really special, it's just a normal version. Just what you expect. Got nice, nice cover, nice artwork on the discs as well, so it's quite a cool one. Resident Evil 2 is actually my favourite game of all time on any platform. Uh, I love the soundtrack to the game, I love the storyline, I love the location, and I love the characters, so it's my favourite game of all time. Um, this is a little bit different, it's, again it's the black label, but this is the French version. I actually bought this on eBay and I didn't know it was a French version until I got it. So I was actually more pleased that I got it French rather than English because it's different and I, I hadn't seen one yet as of yet. The discs itself are the same and so is the artwork, it's just all in French rather than English. So yeah, it's quite a cool piece. Um, this is the platinum version. I actually have two copies of this platinum version. This one is nice and pristine. It's nice and clean, and it has the other one has writing on the disc, and it doesn't have the proper platinum manual. This one has the nice the proper platinum manual, and it also has all the inserts and the postcard and everything like that. And it's nice and clean, and so I've got two copies of it: one for playing and one for just for the display and one for my collection. This is the other one that isn't. It's it's complete, but it's not properly complete. It only has it has just the, the black label manual rather than the proper platinum one and also it has writing on the disc obviously the person who previously owned it didn't know which character was on each, which disc so they wrote on the disc 
but that, that one's just for playing as opposed to display. Um, I have another copy of the Platinum one. This is a German one. I actually really like the cover art on this one. It's, it's different. And yes, it's German, so it's quite a nice, unique, rare, quite a, quite a, quite a rare piece in the UK. I haven't yet seen one come up on eBay or Amazon like that, anything like that. So it's a really, really cool piece. But I've got loads of different languages for the Resident Evil 2, because like I said, it's my favourite game of all time. So I like to like to stock up on this one, because it's my favourite one. Uh, this is the American version. Uh, this is like this is a double dual case case one. And it has the same cover art as the German what German version, so but it has a lot the back's different and the discs are a lot different too. So but it's fully complete and everything like that. And it has uh behind this clear disc some really nice artwork behind it of the liquor and Birkin. I don't know if you can quite see, clearly see it, but it's really quite a nice piece. And yeah, so it's fully complete, so it's quite a nice nice addition to the collection. Um, I do have this one, this is another American version, but I'm not too sure whether this is a legit or a copy, because it's in just a thin jewel, jewel case, and it has no manual, and the, the discs are different. They're the same design, but they're just different colours. Some different kind of discs, so I'm not too sure whether they are legit or not, but it was cheap, it was cheap to buy at the time, so I thought I'd just add it because it looks different as well. So, yeah, it's quite a, quite a different piece. Um, this is my last copy of Resident Evil 2 at the moment, this is the um, Japanese version, Biohazard, rather than Resident Evil 2. Um, no, again, it's a double dual case one. It's got quite a lot of extras inside this one. It has the manual, and it has all the original stickers and all that that come with it. It's got the original spine card, it has the, the original postcard, and it has these really, really cool stickers on them, inside them. I've never used them, because I just well, I just left them inside the case. They're really cool stickers. And yeah, they're, it's really cool, really cool piece, this one, because I, I was quite pleased when it came and it had all these stickers, because I never knew that it had stickers inside of it. So I was really, really pleased once it came and it had all these extra little bits inside. And I was really pleased that it had the spying card. Because that's what I look for the most when I try and get Japanese car Japanese games. So yeah, that's all my Resident Evil 2 ones. And um, this is uh, now moving on to Nemesis. Um, I only have two copies of this. This one and another one. Uh, this is just a standard black label UK one. Uh, they didn't do a platinum one, so UK ones, there's not many different variations on PS1. But it's got the manual, and it's nice and f nice and complete, so, yeah. And this is the other copy I've got of it, but th this came with that other Resident Evil 2 one I'm not too sure about. So, again, this one I'm not too sure whether it was legit or it's a copy, but I, I purchased it because it was cheap, again. And it was it's really cool art, it's different. I've never seen any other Resident Evil Nemesis game with this picture of Nemesis. It's really quite cool. Really cool, art, cool art actually. So I thought, just for display purposes, I'll add it to the collection. Just because it's got quite cool looking discs and case. And everything. It hasn't got no manual with it, unfortunately. But yeah. And the last PS1 game I've have is Resident Evil Survivor. This is the UK black label version. Uh, they didn't do a platinum one with this one again. So it's just this is I think the only UK version you can get. I'm not too sure. If you know of any other ones, let me know in the comments. But this is the only one I have and seen, and it has all the original pieces of paper and manual, so it's like fully complete. But that is it for all my Resident Evil PlayStation 1 games. Um, if you know of any other copies or editions, anything like that, let me know in the comments. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe.